Beware of IRA income limits. Saving money is obviously a great thing, but it is important to be aware of the income limits when making both traditional IRA and Roth IRA contributions. Contributions to IRAs can be made at any age, but you need W-2 or self-employment income to contribute. However, if your total income from all sources is too large, this may prevent you from making contributions as well. With traditional IRAs, you can make contributions at any income level, but your ability to deduct those contributions is phased out if your income is too high, assuming you have access to an employer retirement plan like a 401k. Since getting a tax deduction is one of the main benefits of a traditional contribution, high income earners would likely want to fund a different account instead. For a single filer, this phase out begins at $77,000 of income, and for married filers, this begins at $123,000 of income. If your spouse has access to a workplace retirement plan but you do not, your phase out for traditional IRA contributions begin at $230,000. Roth IRAs are subject to different limits. For single filers, the ability to contribute begins to be phased out when income reaches $146,000 and for married filers at $230,000. So with traditional IRAs, your income determines if the contributions are deductible. With Roth IRAs, your income determines if you can make the contribution at all. Unfortunately, we see a lot of people making Roth IRA contributions when they aren't eligible to all the time. This can happen if you are used to making Roth contributions every year and eventually through raises or bonuses or whatever, your income exceeds the limit without you knowing. Now with Roth IRAs, there is a workaround called a backdoor Roth contribution that can be used to make Roth contributions when income is over that limit. To do this effectively, the contributor cannot have any traditional IRA money. If they do, they would need to roll that into a workplace plan like a 401k before implementing the backdoor Roth contribution. The backdoor Roth involves making a non-deductible contribution to a traditional IRA, which again can be done at any income level, followed by a conversion into a Roth IRA. Conversions do not have income limits and because the initial contribution to the traditional IRA was not deductible, it is not taxable when converted to the Roth IRA. I'm Harrison Johnson with Wilsey Asset Management. If you like these videos, be sure to give it a like or comment and feel free to check out our other YouTube videos and weekly newsletter for the latest economic news, expert analysis, and market insights.